What's up, y'all? I hope you guys are having a great day today. Thank you for coming back, or if you're new here, welcome. If I'm talking a little weird, it's because I have a kinker sore and it hurts to speak, but it's fine. So I am filming this intro a different day because I did really like the way the first intro came out. It just wasn't, it wasn't good enough for me. So I was like, you know what? I gotta refilm it now. Today we're gonna be watching episode three of Queen Charlotte's. As I am filming this, I have already seen it and it is very, very sad, but also very beautiful. And I'm scared because it's only three episodes left. Nevertheless, I am quite enjoy enjoying, I'm quite enjoying this journey with you guys so far. It is a very, very good show. I would highly recommend everyone to watch the show like on their own time because obviously there are a lot of scenes that I cannot keep in my videos due to copyright. And I do feel like there are a lot of scenes that are just so beautiful. Like genuinely, if you have not seen the show on your own time, highly recommend it. Before we get into this video, I would love to remind you guys that we are currently on a goal of trying to hit 5,000 subscribers because when we do, I have a very, very freaking exciting video that I cannot wait for you guys to see, but I can only put it out when we hit that 5,000 subscriber goal. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit the like button while you're at it and hit the notification bell so you guys never miss an upload from me. I believe that's it. A... God, I cannot speak today at all. I believe that that is all. So let's just get right into it, shall we? I believe that we shall. I wish we understood what was wrong with him. Why is he not being examined by the royal physician? That's a good question. I didn't think about that until you just said it. I must attend my queen. Why wouldn't he just see the royal doctor? I mean, unless he's trying to hide his illness from everybody, including like his mother. Violet Ledger, stop talking this instant. Violet Ledger, is this Violet Bridgerton? Most of the daughters of our own Queen Charlotte and King George are long on the shelf. She's so disappointed in her daughters for not bringing her an heir. Can you even blame her? The problem is I feel like all of the kids are kind of going through this thing where they all feel like, oh, well, if my sibling does it, then I don't have to. And they're all kind of leaning on that. And so no one's doing it. It's gonna get to a point where it's too late. It's not necessarily for the men, but for the women. The coronation has only drawn them closer. So is she lying? I mean, I'd prefer that over her backstabbing Charlotte. Yay, we're holding hands after how long? <laughs> if only they could always be that cute. I hate him. He's infuriating. <laughs> Okay, we're getting into hatred. Very happy. Ah, oh, we love her, okay. So she's basically doing what she has to do, but she's not backstabbing Charlotte. I, I'm happy. The sooner you are with child, the sooner we can cease this performance. Oh my God, it's literally like, we, unless they have a child, why should we keep having to do it? Are you coming? Yes. <laughs> it is awful. They're having hateful, hateful nasties. Seems like they're still enjoying it though. I hate his ridiculous face. I hate his voice. This girl's enjoying it a little bit more than she's letting on. You've been behaving like a child since my first morning here. Yeah, we all have to stay here and listen to them arguing. Shall I leave? Yes, leave now. Jeez, okay. What are we doing? Oh, okay, we're loving each other, hatefully. You know there's a bunch of guards here, right? There's a bunch of cards here and Brimsley and everybody. Can you blame a girl? <laughs> yeah, love hearing all of this. It's an even day. It's like they hate each other, but they also are so in love, but like hatefully. I shall pick my own oranges. There will be no discussion. I'm proud of her. That's what she wants. The king does not attend any gatherings of the ton, your majesty. Because he's got some sort of weird thing that we just don't know about. So something to do with the doctor. Doctor. He mentioned it. I could be incorrect. In fact, I misspoke. Now you gotta tell her everything. Primsy, what doctor? Um, an unroyal doctor? I saw a doctor the other day in the cellar. Oh no. Crown must be examined on coronation day. She wasn't examined. Charlotte. I'm off to bed. What is he hiding? Lord Danbury and I would like to throw the first ball of the season. I shall take it up with Lord Butte. Like this situation is messy. Princess Augusta gave her approval. No. She's gonna go against the princess. She's gonna send out invitations regardless. Oh, okay, that's an interesting play out. Edmund's birthday would have been today. You are most fortunate. That's interesting. Fortunate? Is it that she has someone to grieve that she loved and that loved her? You are most fortunate. Is it because she was able to love and be loved? The Danburys are throwing the first ball of the season. Wait, this is so interesting. Let's go to their home. A child named Mozart. Ah, that's who it is. Interesting. I received an invitation to your little ball. So sad to miss it. Mm, of course, of course you're gonna say that. Miss girl is literally squishing her face up against the window just to get a look at him shirtless. Girl, you thirsty. How do you spend your days? Farming. 
So King George is Farmer George. Oh my god, she's so confused. I love little Pom Pom. Are there medicinal herbs in the garden? Just vegetables. So he just enjoys growing vegetables and likes science? There's nothing wrong with these things. It's just confusing because of who he is as a person. Perhaps Lady Danbury can withdraw the invitation? I think that this ball is a good idea. If Lady Danbury throws a ball and this side does not attend, the palace will lose all moral authority. So basically you have to go and you should go. You will have Lady Danbury cancel the ball. No, we're gonna go to the ball. I wanted to speak to you about the ball I am hosting. Is she looking at George? I believe he's actually gardening. Your Majesty. George. She cannot focus on anything else besides him. Your focus should be your country, your people, our side. I can't tell how she's going to take this. I do not understand that you hold our fates in your hands. But the truth is she really does. I feel like she spoke to her very respectfully, told her the truth, gave her a little bow, a little curtsy. It was like, I'm out. Hopefully you listen. Hopefully you do something about it. Because right now all you can do is stare at shirtless George. <laughs> He's trying to get close and hold his hand, I think, but it's so dangerous if they get caught. Like, even if their fingers could just, like, be like this. No wonder you spend so much time in the garden. In the garden, I'm a regular man. Is that why he likes to do it so much? I've always been this. I think it's really sweet that she's trying so hard, even though he keeps pushing her away. There's something really admirable about that. Can I ask what brought this on? I picked my own orange. <laughs> I love that that's her explanation. What do you need? Our palace walls are too high. What does she mean by that? She wants to go to the Danbury Ball? You must go get dressed now. You've done it all. I love it. she's like, you have to go get dressed now. Well, she looks beautiful and like so done up already. Lord and Lady Ledger. Let's go. She said she wouldn't and here she is. How could she miss an event that the king is planning to attend? Ah, so that's why everyone showed up because of George. I like you. Let's be friends. That's so sweet. Your Royal Highness. The honor is ours. This is like monumental for people to actually be showing up and they're actually being seen as equal. Even though they're calling it the Great Experiment and being super annoying about it, it's still a huge step. King George III and Queen Charlotte. Now this is unheard of, huh? But wait, George is doing it for her. Thank you for having me. Your Majesty. Shall we? What, are we dancing? Is he going to dance with Agatha? Because, whoa, 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 wait, 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 we need to cut back to something because in Bridgerton, there was a little sort of kind of obvious conversation that Lady Danbury had with Violet where Violet was like, I don't care about the past that you had with my father. So it's unimportant now. Is she going to have an affair with Violet's father? Is that is that what's about to happen? Is that what I'm about to witness? May I have a dance with your wife? Like, I want her to be happy, but like, I also don't want them to be cheaters, you know? He is so happy. I have never seen him say, look at him. Look at him. Okay, no, but in all seriousness, it is really beautiful. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. I am a success. He just has to ruin every single moment, huh? We have created more change, step forward more, than Britain has in the last century. George, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> I will not let you fall. Oh, she was so unhappy before. This makes me so happy. Okay, they're doing it. You're not the nice kind. What just happened? My lord, have you finished? What just happened? Did he? You're lying. No, there's no way. You're lying. You're, there's no way that he just... How? I mean, I'm kind of happy for her, but like, rest in peace. <laughs> oh, we are done. <laughs> Oh God, that's awesome. Okay, I'm not, I wouldn't say awesome, but I'm, I'm excited for her. <laughs> not her playing it up. Henry, you fetch the doctor, Charlie. Imagine from now she gets to be alone. I want this so badly for her. <laughs> Lord Danbury found girls useful only for breeding. Oh, she didn't know that her husband was like that? Oh, you loved. Yes, that's what I said. That's why she is fortunate. I loathed in me, Herman, Rots. It is a privilege to have something like that. Do we have something stronger than tea? Absolutely. Why have my girls never married? How is he supposed to answer that type of question? You are still his queen. Your daughters could not leave you here trapped in time. Oh, that's so sad. I didn't think about it in that kind of way. The tree needs more gold. I want more gold tomorrow. What is George writing? At whatever god hour of the time it is. Oh. Oh. This is the start of it. Venus, my angel! Wait, what is going on? Venus! Why is he getting naked? I feel you talk to me! Oh my god, this is really bad. Right here, I am Venus. You are Venus. Oh god. 
god, this is so complicated. Venus is in Venus. Imagine needing to talk to your loved one in that sort of way where they have no idea who you are. They're a completely different person. Is that the end? I can tell that this is the type of show that's just gonna break me. It's gonna shatter me. I'm not prepared. I am scared. Please go ahead and let me know what you guys thought. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I will see you guys in the next one. See ya.